figure skating is always such an interesting story at a Winter Olympic Games. And, and the U.S. figure skating team, again, will be full of stories. I would say the top five stories, it's Nathan Chen, Nathan Chen, Nathan Chen, and then Ice Dance medal and team medal. But really the story is the men and Nathan Chen. He, of course, in 2018, had a terrible short program, came back to win the long program, and ever since, he's won everything but one competition over the last four years, including three world titles. Nathan Chen is a gold medal favorite. He is definitely the man to be. When you think of figure skating, you really think of women skating, and certainly the U.S. women have been dominant over the decades. Peggy Fleming, Dorothy Hamill, Christy Yamaguchi, Tara Lipinski. Unfortunately, these days are not like that. In 2018, four years ago, the U.S. women finished 9th, 10th, and 11th. Alyssa Liu could be in contention if there are a lot of falls. Mariah Bell, what a story. 25 years old, her first national title, a story of perseverance. And then Karen Chan has been fourth at two world championships. She's back for another Olympic Games after being on the U.S. team in 2018. With U.S. ice dance, a medal is almost a certainty. And that's something that you couldn't say for decades. But over the last 15, 20 years, the United States has really become a dancing nation. And the United States ice dance team is expected to do very well here. You've got Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue, who have been medalists in the last three world championships. And then Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, who actually beat them at the recent national championships. One of those two teams is very likely to win a medal at these Olympic Games. It could even be gold if things work out for them. As for the pairs, unfortunately, there's gonna be no medal here. And in fact, there has not been a pairs medal for the United States since the 1988 Calgary Olympic Games, a bronze medal. Yes, you heard that right, 1988. But you've got Brandon Fraser coming back from COVID and Alexa Kinnearum were the national champs last year. They could not compete because of Fraser testing positive in Nashville and they will be the top American pair, and anything in a, the top 10 would be a good result for them. Kicking off the entire skating competition is the team competition. Now, this is only the third time the Olympics has had team figure skating. 2014 and 2018, the U.S. won the bronze. This time, they could win the silver because it, what it requires is to have strength across the board, men, women, pairs, and dance. And with dance and men being the strength, especially for the United States, if the women and pairs can hang in there and have good performances, the U.S. could be in contention for the silver medal, and I would say certainly would win the bronze. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.